So in this video, we have to figure out the concentration of all the species from the dissociation of carbonic acid. So carbonic acid will dissociate one proton to give you bicarbonate. This proton can also potentially dissociate to give you carbonate. So there's not one, but two ice tables that you have to do to get the concentrations of all of the species. So what's interesting here is that in carbonic acid, you not only have carbonic acid H2CO3, but you'll have some H plus in there that gives us the pH. You'll have some bicarbonate in there. And then finally, you have carbonate in there. So one, two, three, four. There's four chemicals inside and dissolved in water, of course, four chemicals uh, that are in a 0.025 molar solution of carbonic acid. So the first thing we need to do is get our Ka's. Um, so we have our Ka for carbonic acid which is 4.2 times 10 to the minus 7. And then we would need the Ka for our second uh, HCO3 minus. And actually, that's right below it. Okay, so here's the first proton comes off like that. And then this proton, this proton to give you carbonate comes off at 10 to the minus 11. So let's write our equation for the first reaction that happens carbonic acid giving you bicarbonate. So this reaction here is carbonic acid. It's going to react with water. Uh, all of this is happening in water. And carbonic acid is an acid, so all acids are going to um, liberate one proton. This one actually liberates two protons. And giving us H3O+, plus, which is the same as hydromonium ion, also the same thing as H+. Plus. And this gives you the conjugate base, bicarbonate is the name of this molecule, HCO3 minus. Uh, we looked this up of carbonic acid and 4.2 times 10 to the minus 7. That's a very small number. I'm pretty sure my ionization assumption uh, will be valid. 0.025, some of it goes this way. And how much is what we want to figure out in our ice table. So ICE. At equilibrium, which is what the E stands for, initial change equilibrium, we have 0 0.025 minus X, we have plus X, and then we have plus X. So the Ka for this reaction is going to be bicarbonate HCO3 minus times H3O plus divided by carbonic acid H2CO3. And 4.2 times 10 to the minus 7 is the Ka that we got from our book. Remember, these are usually quoted at a specific temperature, so I'm guessing this is room temperature. Bicarbonate at equilibrium is X. Hydrogen ion at equilibrium is X. Carbonic acid at equilibrium is 0.025 minus X, so X squared divided by 0.25 minus X. This is very small, 10 to the minus 7, so we can assume X is, X is small. Okay, by assuming x is small, 0 0.025 minus x is just 0 0.025. So plugging that in here um, across both sides of the equation, that will give us x squared. To square root that will give us x. So I'm just skipping a couple of steps here to save some time. My calculator, I'm getting a value of x here. We're going to have to put our units of big M, 0 0.0001. 0 to big M. So that's going to be our concentration of bicarbonate and our concentration of H3O plus. However, we're not done because this HCO3 minus also um, does an ionization, right? And that ionization was looking back here. Well, that ionization is even smaller. That ionization is 4.8 times 10 to the minus 11. So let's go ahead and write the Ka for this reaction. The Ka for the second ionization uh, is going to be the bicarbonate HCO3 minus. All of this is happening in water. So in water, acids do what acids do and they will give off an H plus, giving you H3O plus. And the conjugate base of this once it delivers the proton is CO3 minus 2 carbonate ion. This was from our flashcards way back in Gen Chem 1, the carbonate ion. And uh, 4.8 times 10 to the minus 11 is our Ka. 
for this reaction. And uh, what is our initial? So our initial here for carbon bicarbonate is going to be 0.00102 minus X. So 0 0.00102, um, that's going to be 0, 0. So 0, 0.00, so this will be minus X plus X plus X. Well, now this uh, will be our Ka2, our second ionization, which is H3O plus or H plus times CO3 minus 2 divided by HCO3 minus. And Ka here is going to be 4.8 times 10 to the minus 11 equals X and X is X squared divided by 0 0.000102 minus X. Um, let's assume X is small and 10 to the minus 11 uh, is, a, a, is a very comfortable assumption to make that S will be, uh, X will be small. So when we assume X is small, um, all right, so we'll multiply this by 0 0.000102, and that will equal x squared, and we'll square root that to isolate x. So solving this on my calculator, getting an answer of getting a very small number here, 7.0 times 10 to the minus 8 molar. So that is going to be our x, which will be H3O plus concentration, and then our concentration of CO3 minus. Okay. So let's do an inventory here. Uh, the concentration of HCO3 minus. <clears throat> uh, let's start off with uh, the fully protonated one, right? So the concentration of H2CO3. Let's figure that one out. Okay. It's going to be 0 0.025 minus X. We calculated X here to be 0 0.00102. So basically 0 0.025 minus 0 0.00102 is the same thing as 0 0.025, really. So 0 0.0248, practically negligible here. The concentration here uh, from the first ionization of H3O plus is 0 0.00102, okay, plus the concentration we found here, which is 7.0 times 10 to the minus 8, again, very, very negligible. Well, let's add that up in our calculator for a posterity's sake. When I thought 10 to the minus 8 is really nothing. Uh, we have the concentration of bicarbonate HCO3 minus, which is going to be 0 0.000102 minus X, which is a super small number. So we'll just go ahead and make that 0 0.000102 plus the concentration of HCO3 from our first ionization, uh, which is 0 0.000102. So so this is going to be about 0 0.300204 molar. These are very, very small numbers here. And then finally, we have CO3 minus 2 carbonate. Carbonic acid will be a very, very, very poor source of carbonate. And um, that's what we get from Ka2, our second ionization of X, which we found to be 7.0 times 10 to the minus 8. And that makes sense. Carbonic acid will have negligible, uh, practically zero amounts of carbonate. The reason why it has practically negligible amounts of carbonate is because the ionization is so small that yields carbonate, right? 4.8 times 10 to the minus 11. So carbonic acid has these four species, and these are the overwhelming amounts of concentrations. It's overwhelmingly carbonic acid because uh, the ionization that yields this is small, 10 to the minus 7. The ionization of this is even smaller, 10 to the minus 11.